Manufacturer Cup in the Mercedes Group 4 SLS. We're qualifying on the Tokyo Loop. I've got a, I've got a stifle in the nose. Please excuse that. We come across the line for our first qualifying lap, and it was, it was just not really quick, to be honest. Just kind of a first lap, feel it out, get back in the groove after practice. The change in physics from, from uh, time trial to online. But you're following on board now with the qualifying lap that will stand for us. And we are in the toe of another car getting some good slipstream, which frankly means more than life itself on this track. It is so high speed. Corners like this, though, feel that are so satisfying when you get them right. And it's so painful when you get them wrong, which I do often because I'm bad. And I'm sorry. But we, halfway through the lap now, revving out the gears, just trying to get as close as we can to the walls as you'll see here. A very satisfying section when you get it right. The guy in front of us scrapes the wall, lets us get closer in the slipstream to get a nice, nice big run now on the short stream. Ugh, excuse the yawn, but it's okay. I know I just made you yawn too, so deal with it. Citroen in front of us peels off into the pits. Oh, you tried to hold that yawn, did you? I knew it. I knew you tried to hold the yawn. You're yawning right now. <laughs> uh, I'm sorry. I'm a child. But we come across the line now, just nonchalantly, to take provisional pole position. I, know, I was just, I was, I was losing, I was losing it when that happened. I was going nuts. Unfortunately, we didn't hold it. We go P4 now. We dropped down a few spots, but still, I will take that for a track that practicing I didn't feel really confident and I didn't practice that that much here so let's hope we can use this fourth place starting position to propel ourselves to a good race but only one way to find out and that's to continue the video frankly comment below uh, how many places you think I'll lose in this race my bet is about 19 I'll finish about p23 or so out of 18 cars brilliant we are all over this blue and yellow Scion of Nami 44, Lewis Hamilton fanboy possibly. Absolutely abusing the slipstream. We got a side-by-side -side fight for the lead now. Renault versus Sedan. Not even gonna try and guess what that is. No real inroads for us yet. We cut away to lap two now. We've got a big run on the side. Can we make it in turn one? No, nothing really happening there. We touch the wall. We slap the wall along with along with the side in front of us. Thankfully, we do not get the penalty. We're not a Hamilton fanboy, but we are the ones that are hashtag blessed on this occasion. <laughs> and we have a big run now on Nami 44Q, and we get it. We duck to the inside. We're side by side now going into the high speed right hander. Can we make the move stick? We're running wide, but yes, we can. We get a good run. He cannot retaliate. That reminds me, we got a video coming out soon of the new update where we will drive what everybody suspects is the 2017 Mercedes, I believe the W08 or W07, something like that. Really looking forward to it. Tune in, tune in, make sure you're subscribed and you got notifications on to watch that. But really, I am sad to say that after that first couple laps, nothing happened. We were just, we tried to gain on Project D1, but we couldn't really make any inroads on them at all. Just. We were running identical pace, identical lap times. I would claw back a couple tenths, and then he, he'd he have a good lap and, and pull that right back and a little bit extra. Nothing really we could do there. And if you guys don't know, I'm actually running the Thrustmaster T300 RS Alcantara, the 599XX uh, wheel with T3PA Pro pedals, and I have a new addition, the th 8 shifter. So on any car that's an H pattern, I do use that, and it is absolutely glorious. So, Thrustmaster, I love you. We come out of the pits now. Shameless plug, and they're not even paying for it. Man, I'm a guy. But anyways, we come out of the pits now. Guy and old Tarzan got in front of us, but we make quick work of him, which is absolutely huge for our race, because if we got stuck behind him anymore, our race, we could have potentially uh, been under threat from cars behind us. And uh, after that, we are able to set the fat stop of our race. The 17.3, which I believe... Oh, excuse me, yawning again was faster than our qualifying time. And that is all I can say about this race. I was just logging laps and doing my lap times. You can see them on the right there. I was just cruising home. Just put
putting doing my time but we will come across the finish line now to take a podium finish in the manufacturer's cup we've been struggling as of late so to get this podium felt so good especially after our brand's hatch debacle in the nation's cup oh i was i i was so happy with myself i you know uh obviously there's there's room for improvement you know because i i did i still lost by 20 seconds to the leader but baby steps for me i'm trying to get this one step at a time tiny improvements and that's all i got for you today that's where i'm gonna end it so if you did enjoy it smash the like button let's try and get some likes for this video get us going if you're new right here why not hit the subscribe button you know consider hitting that notification bell to get weekly uploads of bad and absolutely abysmal driving. I'm Apex Hunter. I hope you'll enjoy the rest of your day, and I will see you in the next one. Take care. Goodbye.